All right, we're going to get things rolling here. Good morning, everybody. Mike Anderson, American Independent Marketing here. I want to tell you, first off, I appreciate you making your time available here to uh, take a look at the new Mutual of Omaha long-term care product. And we've got a little extra added bonus today. We've got uh, a sneak peek at the new software, which hopefully will be available here within uh, a week or so. It is not available now. Uh, we're going to show you what it looks like and uh, give you a quick tour. And as soon as we do have it available, we'll notify everybody by email, and you'll be able to go to our satellite site and down that, download that. I'm sorry. So now uh, we're taking a look here at Mutual of Omaha's uh, custom and secure solutions portfolio. Talk a little bit about the new product, the features, uh, some some info on underwriting guidelines and rate structure, and then again, a uh, special sneak peek at the software. All right, uh, the product is now available in 37 states. These states are part of what you see mentioned here, this interstate compact. Okay, it's a group of states that got together to basically, it's, it's the, the insurance version, I guess you'd say, of collective bargaining, if you're familiar at all, uh, with unions. They all worked together. They all agreed to uh, file their product simultaneously. And when the, the compact approved it, it was approved in these 37 states. A lot easier for everybody involved. Uh, in the bigger picture, I suspect. So I'll give you a second here uh, to kind of make some notes uh, in case you're working in, in uh, multiple states along the way. And again, we are in broadcast mode, lecture mode, uh, as a result of recording the webinar. We will take questions uh, at the end, and I will be able to make the slides available to you. Won't be able to make anything pertaining to the software. That's just a visual, uh, it's, a, it's a trailer, if you will. Won't be able to make that available, but I can make the slides available to you. Okay, we're going to offer two products, uh, two policies, the secure solutions, the custom solutions. For those of you who are familiar with the custom solution or with the gold product that we're now working with or have been working with, the custom solution is going to look very, very familiar to you. All right, we'll talk about why here in just a minute. Um, some side-by-side -side information that we pulled together. The custom solution is based on what you call face amount. In other words, you select something between 50000 and a half million, okay? And then you select your monthly benefit to go with it. Secure solution is the more traditional monthly times months equals pool. All right. One of the big differentiations right out of the gate, the custom product has the 40% cash that you've become accustomed to. All right, and it's got uh, more inflation options than, than the secure does. It's got more partner benefits, and it's got more return of premium options. Okay, uh, one of the tweaks on this is that they upped the uh, minimum issue age from 18 to 30. All right, uh, we're still capping out at 79, and this is partnership qualified based on state approval, and we'll talk about that here uh, in a little bit. Okay, and again. The pool of dollars determines your policy limit uh, increments of $500, and you can run from $50,000 to $500,000. Okay? Uh, the max monthly benefit, also $50 increments on the custom side, is between $1,500 and $10,000. And those are identical uh, on both sides. The difference here, again, is the secure does that, what I call long-term care by multiplication. So you're looking at a situation where uh, you multiply that $5,000 a month by 48 months, and that gives you the total pool. Uh, elimination period options are very similar. Uh, again, a wider, a broader range of options with the custom product. Okay, cash, 40% of the home health care benefit. Now, there is a starting cap on cash at $2,400 a month. That's only at the start. Once you apply inflation to the policy and it begins to grow, uh, that the cap is no longer there. That's just to cap it at the start. By way of context, quite a bit more than half the business that we saw in 2012 and the first half of 2013 was written at $4,500 a month or less. Uh, and the moral of that story is that the, that $2,400 cap is not going to impair most of the folks out there and what they're doing. All right? Nursing home is obviously 100% of that monthly benefit. You have three levels for assisted living and for nursing home. Okay? It's important to note, or I'm sorry, for home health care, my bad, sorry. Uh, 
and it's important to note, if you downgrade the home health care benefit below 100% of nursing home, you are reducing the cash. And we'll show you that when we look at the software here in a second. So if you're looking for ways to trim the premium down, you don't want to go to a downgrade of home health care. That will cost your clients cash benefit. All right? Uh, Stay-at-home benefits are the same. Bed reservation, also the same. Okay, respite care, hospice care, international, all the same as before. Uh, waiver of premium, again, the same. And alternate care benefit. The partner benefits, they're now, they used to be referred to as couples benefits. Now it's partner benefits. Uh, shared and security benefit are available, along with joint waiver of premium and survivorship. When you're using the custom configuration, uh, the uh, secure configuration does not have the joint waiver or the survivorship. Okay. The uh, waiver of elimination period for home health care is available along with non-forfeiture and return of premium. And as we said, we've got more return of premium uh, options available under custom, including a new one, which is the three times initial max monthly benefit. So if your client selected $5,000 a month as a starting monthly benefit, that option there would give them a fifteen thousand dollar ROP, less claims paid. Okay, and professional home health care option to bump that to two hundred percent of your nursing home benefit. That's available um, as well with the custom. Okay, now inflation options. These this is where we made three key changes. We lowered the points, or actually added more points. You can now go down to quarter point increments. Uh, and you can also go down to 1% compound, and believe it or not, that's actually partnership approved in a number of different states. And we've also got uh, a number of capped options or additional number of capped options as well. Okay, Why did we lower the inflation point? Well, it's no secret when new, new versions of a product come out, they're going to be more expensive. And as you can see here, a one-point difference in inflation from three to two, that drops the premium by 26%. Okay? It's important to note by way of context that 18% of the current sales were either FPO, which is future purchase option, or none. Okay? The, and we also still have the guaranteed upgrade option on the custom solution side. Uh, in a bit of a change, that option now expires after 20 years or when the client reaches age 75, whichever sooner. Okay, a couple things to keep in mind when you look at moving uh, these benefits around. A 1% inflation option will increase your client's benefit by a third in 30 years, and a 1.5% option would increase, increase your client's benefits by more than 50% in 30 years. Okay. One of the important points to note as well, the FPO, the future purchase option, is not available on the custom or the secure solution. The new non-inflation option is none. Okay, and we we mentioned before lower increments. You can go down to quarter point increments. All right, a quarter point move is about six and a half percent increase or decrease in premium. The average couple sale being about 4500 bucks, you're looking at just right at $300 saving uh, by utilizing that. Okay, A half percent change is nearly $600 in premium savings. And we've learned over the years with our capped options that the clients are perfectly content understanding. Hang on for one second. Just got an update. Apparently Nevada is uh, now has the product available uh, as of uh, October 1st, so we're up to 38 states that just uh, came in. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, 50 point, a half point change is nearly $600 a year in premium savings. And where I was going is we've learned that these savings numbers are real to your clients. A 25-year life of a policy with a $600 savings, you're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of $15,000 back in their pocket. That's real money to them, uh, and they're perfectly content to uh, understand that they've got an inflation configuration that might not be typical because they also understand that they're saving what is real money to them along that path. All right. So what other things have changed? Okay. The partner benefit where you have two people together, uh, it drops down from 35% to 30. All right. The partner with one applying is, is 15%. 
the preferred rate stays at 15%. Association group is 5%. Producer uh, benefit or discount is 5%. And the, this new common employer discount is 5%. Okay. In a nutshell, the common employer discount would allow you to go to amalgamated widget and write long-term care on five employees. This does not include spouses. Five employees of that company, if they come together to do that, going in, those folks and anybody else are going to uh, save 5% on their long-term care, and everybody else that comes in with them will uh, also save 5%. Hang on for one second. Sorry about that. I had to make a quick change. Uh, anyway, common employer discount. You have to have five employees of a company. All right. They can come in together rather than dealing with human resources and wrangling all of that. If you get five of them, they get that common employer discount, 5%. Okay. Now, the spouses are eligible for the discount, but they cannot count as part of that group of five. Okay. And we think this is a significant opportunity. We're consistently being asked about the ability to do, quote, unquote, multi-life for smaller companies. You don't get any uh, underwriting concessions, but they do get that 5% discount. For those of you who are writing back in the days when we had some uh, more available uh, association discounts, you'll remember that we had people coming at us like crazy. That 5% makes a big difference. All right. Uh, let's move along here. New underwriting guidelines, medical records are being ordered on all applicants, all ages, uh, and we do have gender-specific rates that we are now uh, utilizing as well. And one notable change within the underwriting structure, diabetics, if you have an insulin-dependent diabetic, they cannot have uh, had that condition for more than 20 years and still be qualified to apply. There are some other changes, but that was is one that was uh, significant. Okay, so let's, that's the end of that. We're going to move out of here and get into the, uh, the software. All right, this is our uh, new software platform, the Mutual Care Custom Solution Platform. As you can see, it looks very similar to what you're used to already uh, with this dashboard design. Uh, some really cool new uh, pieces that we've added to this. The inflation is done on a slider over here, so you can move all the way down to one. As you can see, all the way up to five, those quarter point increments. And it tells you where you're at as you move through. Again, important to note the custom solution includes the, uh, the buy-up option, which has been tremendously popular along the way, and it does include that 40% cash option noted here. Um, some things that we've added to this. One of the things we've added that's really good is this pick inflation option. Wait for it to re uh, respond here. Okay. And this shows you, based on the client's age of 60, what the premium is for any of these different options. So if they tell you that they need to be at $2,500 uh, annualized premium, this is going to let you look at this. You know, and make some determinations. And then over here to the right, you have the partnership information for that particular state. Okay, And this tells you that in New Hampshire, which just happens to be the state that we are working in, all right, your 61-year-old client can buy 5%, I'm sorry, they can buy 1% compound for 15 years, and it's partnership approved. Okay, Or they could buy 1% compound for life and it's partnership approved. This is significant uh, right out of the gate. The partnership has become uh, a topic of a lot of conversation here, and this tells you that these clients are going to have these different options available. These lower price options, uh, they're going to have them available to them. So, so now we'll, we'll uh, close this out, and we're going to go back over here and look at a hypothetical 60-year-old couple. As you can see, uh, we've got the we're just going to use a base premium here with the 3000 on 100000 It's linear, so it wouldn't matter how you scale it. The pricing you know, it's going to be relative based on uh, what we've got here. All right, so now 
you've got 3% compound for life uh, for these folks. Now, let's say you add a 15-year uh, cap. Okay, so it's 3% compound for 15 years. It's not partnership approved, however, it's good, you know, you're looking at, uh, well, wait a minute here, no, go back to that, there we go, correct, yeah. All right, so we take that partnership off, you go to 15 years, and you save 700 bucks on premium. Significant, significant numbers along the way. That's why those quarter point increments are so, so key, okay? And, we, and it's worth noting we still have our set target premium option. This is a fantastic way to solve this problem. Your clients say, okay, you know, we feel as though uh, we can go with a $3,500 combined annual premium. All right? So you hit okay. Now, it's not working right. Okay, I'll have to talk to the developer guys and... Uh, figure out what's going on with that. I must I might have hit a key that was not the correct one, so we're going to go ahead and disable that and just take it out of uh, play here. Setting that aside, still, great dashboard look, great opportunity to move around very quickly, help your clients out. Uh, we know agents go buggy for this thing when we make it available. We're anticipating that it is going to be available here, hopefully by the end of next week for sure. We're hoping maybe a little bit sooner. We'll be uh, emailing out instructions for everybody to do that. So that, uh, that wraps us up with this particular piece of it. I want to go ahead and open up for questions here now. Uh, there's two ways we can do this. You can either type your question in on the control panel or I'm going to go ahead and unmute uh, everybody that enabled their uh, audio pin. That was one of the things that it asked you about at the beginning. Uh, Sean, I'm not able to unmute you as a result of not doing that. Some other folks, Ford, Havens, uh, Keller, all are not, uh, we cannot uh, unmute you folks, and Joanna, we've got you unmuted. So go ahead and open it up for questions. Again, products available now just became available in uh, Nevada on 10-1. We're anticipating we'll have some additional uh, states coming on board here relatively soon. What do we got? Uh, Shirt Solutions completely gone. Well, Shirt Solutions has been gone for a long time now, okay? I think you're talking about a Shirt Solutions Gold, and yeah. Shirt Solutions Gold is gone in the 37 states that uh, we showed at the beginning. Yes, that, that sunsetted over and done with, okay? So, so are we going to go in Oregon with the inflation protection as it is? I'm not sure I understand what your question is. Well, the inflation protection doing the percentages in the state of Oregon. Uh huh. Um, first of all, this product's been approved here, and second of all, can we do the quarter inflation down to the one percent in Oregon? Yes, you can. As you can see, here's the chart right here. Okay. At this point in time, Oregon has not approved anything below three percent for uh, partnership purposes. We anticipate they will. But every state makes the full lineup available all the way down to 1% with any of the cap options. Okay. okay. They're available in all 37 states. I would anticipate as we move through, keep in mind this has only been out now for about two and a half weeks. As we move a little farther down the path, more states are going to come online and their uh, partnership grids are going to look a lot more like New Hampshire where you have the full span of the options available for anybody over 56 or age 61. Okay. Okay. Other questions? Uh, Mike, did you say the software is not yet available? This software is not yet available, no. We're working through the process of getting it approved by the carrier. As soon as we have it available, we'll be sending out a blast email to let folks know that, that, ca that that's uh, a possibility and uh, that you can download it. LTC product available for group in Michigan? Well, there is no product available for group. If you're talking about the common employer discount, yes. The product's available in Michigan, and you can use the, pro the common employer discount. The other question that we had up there is regard to California. The product is not available in California. Those of you who live in California are familiar with this. Regulatory approval down there is an absolute nightmare in a best-case scenario. Will the software so, be for iPads as well? At this point in time, no. We're working on an iPad version of it, but uh, for the time being, 
the, the moving parts don't interface with iPad, and an iPad application is a fairly costly uh, uh, undertaking, one that Mutual of Omaha doesn't want to get into right now. Okay. Other questions? So we just call the home office for a quote at this time? Well, you can call us for the quote. I wouldn't call the home office. I'd call yeah, while I was burned to y'all, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, call World Headquarters if you need uh, uh, quote, or you can email the information up, whichever. And just, just give us um, some time calling us at uh, 920 to tell us that you got somebody coming in your office at 930. Kind of puts us behind the eight ball because we're having to do a lot of this stuff right now with the software not being available. But we'll do the best we can to help you. What phone number would that be? 800-672-7202. All right. Now, Karen, I know you asked about group in Michigan. Did, did my answer, was that what you were talking about? Was the, the common employer discount there? Or were you talking about true work site? Karen. Worksite. Okay, no, that's right. That's right. Worksite's um, not available with uh, Mutual of Omaha, and I don't anticipate it will be uh, in the near-term future. If you're if you're watching industry-wide, for the most part, carriers are walking away from Worksite at a very brisk clip. <laughs> I have uh, a group that's interested. That's why. Um, so how go, can I go talk to them about this product with the common employer discount? Okay, they're not going to get. Except in okay. the, the rarest of cases, they're not yeah. going to get underwriting concessions. This is the best combination of product and carrier out there, period. Okay, there, there well, is, maybe I ahead. can talk to someone offline because I need a little bit more hand-holding in regard to this. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, give us a call when we finish this or you know, sometime when you feel like you want to set a few minutes aside and talk strategically about this, okay, and yeah. we'd be glad to do that. Um, could, you, um, but, could you give me the number again, please? I'm sorry. Sure, sure. The office number here at AIM, 800-672-7202. Thank you so much. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, where I was going, folks, uh, sort of an, an, an aside to Karen's question, was about the, the industry out there in the marketplace and what you're seeing right now, okay? With Mutual of Omaha, you've got the, the best brand in long-term care. This is a company that everybody in the baby boomer market knows because Mutual of Omaha's Lap Kingdom was one of three shows that was on in every on er, in every household in America back in the 60s and the 70s on Sunday night. Everybody knew Marlon Perkins, everybody knew Jim who was holding the 18-foot Cobra Mar while Marlon was selling disability insurance um, on TV there. But and where I was going is this is the best, absolute best combination of product and carrier available. Simple truth of the matter, and the market just convulsed, if you want to call it that, last week uh, with one of the, with a cash carrier stepping out of the market. If your products, the products that you're talking to your client about, do not include cash, you are short selling your clients. This hybrid with the 40% cash option right here, that cash is going to be valuable at a level that few of us really comprehend right now because it's going to give them choices when they go on claim in 2036. It's going to give them the opportunity to decide how their claim is administered rather than allowing the insurance carrier to do that for them. So, all right, so that's, I'm going to step back off my soapbox now. Any other questions? Hey, Mike. It's Tom Magnus. Uh, hey, Tom. Hey, I'm um, I'm actually taking an app on uh, Thursday for this product. Uh, Brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. And um, in doing my due diligence for this uh, customer, it's the first uh, mutual long-term care product I've written. Um, I did a pretty exhaustive search on the internet and spoke with a few colleagues, and I wasn't able to dig up any dirt. I mean, other than a, a couple of. Uh, customers who were hacked off at the way claims were paid, but you're going to have that with, with any company, any sure. big company. Uh, and, I mean, just nothing but, but positives on, on Mutual of Omaha as far as the long-term care insurance goes. Um, the, the flexibility of this platform is, is second to none. Um, 
like you said, the cash product uh, uh, is, or the cash side of it is great. The quarter point uh, interest rates are great. Um, the shared benefit is phenomenal. So um, yeah, I'm I'm psyched. Great, and thank you for that PSA. Uh, we appreciate yeah. that, Tom. Uh, w one of the things about Mutual of Omaha is, you know, it's a strong conservative Midwestern insurance company. It's, it's the kind of company you want to go to when you're paying premiums beginning in 2013. And you're not going to go on claim until 2033, all right? Because you want to make sure they're there at the end of the game, all right? And so you want that company that's got that 40-year vision. And that's, uh, you don't always agree with some of the things that they do, but uh, the simple truth of the matter is they're they're positioning themselves and they're making moves that they feel like they have to make to be in this for the long haul. They want to be in this so that the customers that you're writing on Thursday, they are still here for those folks when they go on claim uh, down the road. That's a big well, and Mike, piece of the brings, whole experience. That brings up another point I, I forgot to make, and that is that this is a customer who's um, pretty well healed, uh, not hurting for money at all, and still sees the benefit and need for long-term care insurance. Um, the, um, the, the product sells itself also in the sense that in the, in the uh, tumultuous long-term care insurance market that we're in right now, this product was designed in the low interest rate environment. And so when we talk about the volatility that we've seen in the market and continue to see, I think we can isolate this product perhaps with a few others, but certainly on its own as one that uh, will undoubtedly stand the, uh, the test of time. Well, we certainly hope so, and, and I think you're right. I mean, and, and Tom does bring up a good point. We've been dealing with this low interest rate environment now for more than five years. If somebody had told any of us on this uh, webinar right now in October of 2008 when all hell was breaking loose and we had an election looming in a month that we were still going to be dealing with this five years later, I think we'd have just sort of all chuckled and said, yeah, sure. And certainly we'd have hoped that that was not the case. And along the way, during that five years, you've seen a lot of things happen that have significantly changed what we're doing. Met and Prue are no longer doing that, okay? And some of the other carriers have really shaken up what they're doing by way uh, of rate basis multiple times. And it's really making it difficult for the carriers to thrive and survive and, and do what it is that they've committed to do. But they keep soldiering on because they're committed to this business, and that is not an easy thing uh, to undertake. And uh, hopefully you're correct, and we're going to start to see some change on this, and it'll make it easier. But all of that aside, one of the things that hasn't changed while pricing has changed and carrier involvement has changed is customer need. Okay, The baby boomer generation is we're right smack in the middle of it right now. These people need long-term care. Okay, they need to have this particular exposure addressed, and they need to have those options presented to them at a level that they, they don't even begin to understand. The first thing you've got to realize is that you've got this exposure going forward. This product is going to be a great solution for that moving forward over the next three or four years. So any other questions? Uh, I'm new to this product completely, so is the cash benefit portion of this optional or it just happens? Well, it's an alternative benefit. And what I mean, it, it's not optional in that you can't back it out and give your client a lower rate without cash. All right. The way that the cash benefit works is when your client goes on claim, they have a choice to make. They can take their $10,000 a month uh, monthly benefit or they can take $4,000 a month in cash. The cash, you still have the 2 of 6 ADL requirement. Once they meet that requirement, the cash is paid at the beginning of every month, and it's up to the client to do what they want to do to adjudicate the claim. Okay. But they still have the other 6000 The other 6000 remains in the pool. That's correct. Okay. If, you're, if your client's going to elect and use cash, and we know with almost 100% certainty that if it's possible, they will elect to use cash. It's going to extend the theoretical point in time uh, in, with, in which their benefits will 
in laps. Let's look a little bit more realistically here. Four thousand dollars a month, two hundred thousand dollar pool. Now, this number right here, four point one seven. This is something that it this still surprises me, but agents really fixate on this. It's a three-year benefit or a four-year benefit. No, it's a pool of money. It's $200,000. The only way that that $200,000, and I don't know how the hell you, you cal uh, calculate 4.17 years, but the only way that it expires in 4.17 years is if they use exactly $4,000 a month for that period of time. All right? So fixating on the you know this this amount of time it's just that's a mathematical process at the beginning. Once you go through that, you can set that aside. You have a, a bucket of money with two hundred thousand dollars in it, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. How long that lasts will depend on how you handle the claim and how you do uh, some things along the path there. So, well, but Mike, even if they do go on maximum claim from day one, they're still going to have more money in their pool because of uh, the accumulation of interest. Well, sure. I mean, I'm just. I mean, if this is the proverbial, the guy falls off the ladder as you're backing out of the right. driveway scenario. Right. Okay. Right. I mean, let's be more realistic. Okay. It it grows for. We're gonna say it grows till it doubles. All right. So you've got an eight thousand uh, dollar benefit, and you've got a four hundred thousand dollar pool. Still four point one seven years. All right. But they take the cash, thirty two hundred bucks a month. Well, that's obviously going to. Ex uh, it's going to significantly increase the length of time that they have benefits available. Absolutely. Okay, uh, now you said you were kind of new to it. Any other questions from uh, our person that's new to this out there? And we're available to spend some time with you offline to go through more rudiments of this if you'd like. Well, it's not the rudiments that I need. I've been selling it I'm, for a long time, long-term care. I'm just new to this product. Okay, okay. Well, but it I is it is long-term care with, you know, there's two exceptions really or two differentiations here. One is the cash. And the other is the quarter point increments and the inflation caps. Those are things that other folks aren't doing. I think you'll probably see them going to more capped options down the road. But for the time being, this is what uh, differentiates us. And those capped options over here in this section right here, that's what's going to give you the opportunity to take this policy and make it really work within your client's price point. Great. So um, I just need to call the 800 number for any generic information that I need. Absolutely. What state are you in? Oregon. Oregon. Ask for Dave Whalen. He'll take care of you. Okay. Other Thank questions you. this morning? You bet. You bet. Any other questions? Okay. Well, again, this has been recorded. When we finish up, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, upload this thing. It'll be on our website within a couple of hours. You could circle back to it and uh, take a look at any piece part you want of the thing. And uh, re, uh, reacquaint yourself. You can always call in here and talk with one of your marketers as well. So uh, one last call for questions. Website address? www.whyaim.com. All right, anything else? Otherwise, we're going to sign off for the day again. Thanks for your time. Uh, give us a call here at World Headquarters. If you need any questions answered, we'll be glad to work with you and help you get ready for your next um, sales call. That said, thanks for your time, everybody. Let's call it a day.